Morning everyone. This seems to be the meeting place of the shop. Just checking the old fire here before we get to the bench. Ooh. Little pine, little oak, cottonwood, and some ash. Just an appetizer sampler of good firewood. We got something fun here to do today. See you at the bench. Okay, how's it going everyone? Had a good productive morning, went to the dump, dug around in the scrap area for chainsaws, there were none. <laughs> I'm that guy. You never know what you can find at the dump, especially our local country dump. Uh, guys throw all kinds of interesting things away. And uh, it's like a garage sale where you, you pay to get in, but uh, you know, <laughs> didn't find any saws. Anyhow, how are you guys doing? Um, we mailed the Super Pro 70 to Bucken. I'm pretty, pretty excited about that saw. And I, he was excited to get it. Uh, I like doing work for the man. He's a good fella. And uh, he, he really likes power saws. So um, builds like that are, are, they're a lot of fun. But I mean, let's face it. I've been working on that saw for two months. And the... The progression, it's just fun to dig into that stuff. I'm super glad that you guys enjoy watching that kind of stuff. I've never been inside a Mac, guys. That's the first time. <laughs> and uh, we're better to do it than on the YouTube. So, again, uh, that ignition chip, if you have points and condenser and issues with that, uh, any one of those chips... Um, there's an Oregon, you can use a chip off of a Kawasaki lawnmower, a few people were telling me, etc, etc. Um, they're out there. Just, uh, you know, Google two-stroke ignition module or ignition chip and you'll find them. There's so many. I, I just grabbed the Oregon one because it was the first one I found. So, got my hair cut. What do you guys think of that? I'm feeling streamlined. Uh, I like to have no hair in the summer. It just keeps me cool. So yeah, that, uh, again, that saw runs so much better with that chip in there. It, it's incredible. I wanted to go through and show you guys the deal with that. And then, uh, you know, just let you guys know and, and install it. Uh, there's other videos out there, but I wanted to install that on video and show you guys where the wires go so that there's no confusion. And again, it was just that simple. You can either leave the points on or rip them off, and and that was that. And the the starting starting warm that saw starts beautifully now. So uh, I'm anxious for Bucken's feedback. We got more max to do. Um, early on, when Bucken first found me, right away we started talking, uh, you know, some builds, and uh, we're gonna have a lot of fun this summer. I have. I have four saws here right now for bucking, so we're gonna we're gonna do some experimentation and just have fun and, and see. I want to see what I can get out of Max and various other saws, so we're we're gonna have a lot of fun this summer. Okay, so um, I gotta get down my knife, my big knife. Oh yeah, this thing here, you know, you pick your teeth with it. I got this from a fellow that made this, and uh, I like it. Uh, that's my around the yard knife. We're going into town, you strap a big knife on. I, I don't know what it is, but I like to poke it into the bench. <laughs> I'm, uh, I'm thinking, folks, we're going to replace this bench top soon with something uh, more uh, oil resistant. It's just time. I am a sheet metal worker. Some of you don't know that. That's what I do. Uh, I'll just clod this in sheet metal. Um, it's on the list. Anyhow, uh, I got an email, I can't remember, a couple weeks ago. Jeff freaking Salisbury, okay? This guy just sends me an email. Hey, Tin Man, uh, I saw a saw on eBay and I bought it for you. What's your address? I'm like, what? <laughs> you guys, like, seriously. Um, the the generosity of you folks out there is incredible. You guys help this channel out so much. Look at that echo we just gave away. That saw was that saw was made happen by people coming together and helping this guy out. So um, thank you, I, I appreciate it. Um, we're probably gonna run that echo on one more video. I have a little bit of an idea. 
Um, I'd like to just, I got a couple of trees to fall, some hardwood. I'd like to put that in a tree, fall with it, and then uh, I have an idea. Um, a couple of you guys wanted to see how that stacks up against the port at 266. So I think we're going to make that happen. And uh, I might take it to the next level. We, we have several saws. Honestly, guys, that echo... I don't, I'm not sure. It's hard to know speeds. I don't, I don't do timed cuts and stuff like that. Um, I might do that for this video, but um, that saw feels to be on par or slightly stronger than any 266 I've ported. And uh, there was a while in this area where, you know, these things, you know, these things, there was a while where these things were just popping into my lap and... Uh, Oh, there we go. Um, these things were just popping into my lap all the time. I was picking them up after work. And uh, so I started porting these. So I've done quite a few of these. And uh, I would say that Echo is darn close to this. This is lighter than the Echo, than the 670. Um, I like the air filtration on the 670. Um, so again, it's it's kind of a toss up. I mean, I'm a husky guy. I'm probably gonna reach for this, but honestly, I would have no qualms about grabbing that echo. And uh, son of liberty, he said, "Yeah, if you want to shoot another video with it, no problem." So we're we're probably gonna do that, and then we'll mail that saw off to him. Okay. Sorry, friends. Rambling. I'm super fired up today. Uh, the bench is clean. I'm ready to start some new projects. Jeff freaking Salisbury. Okay. <laughs> I don't know why I like to say it like that. Uh, Jeff, thank you, buddy. He, I showed up uh, yesterday. Yesterday, I showed up at home. And oh, there's this big box <laughs> at the door. And I'm just like, wow. And uh, thank you. You know, again, guys. Uh, you people take good care of me, and, and it, it, it's very humbling. Thank you. Um, I've never experienced so much generosity from, from strangers, just people out there. Uh, it makes me feel good. A lot of good people out there. So anyways, he bought this saw, and he said, I thought of you as I was buying this saw. So, um, I have not opened this. We'll take my big knife. And uh, my big knife's a little dull from, probably from running it into the bench top. We'll open this up. I'll probably put it on the floor. And uh, I have no clue what's in here. Uh, it's definitely a power saw, I hear. But what it is, I don't know. But uh, this is cool. And it sounds like whatever it is, it runs, so I'm not used to getting saws that run. Okay, buddy. Wow, this thing's packed well. I'm going to put this on the floor, guys. Holy smokes. We got packaging like it's going out of style. Good job, Jeff. Oh, yeah, this is cool. Sorry guys, I'm still here. Hello. I just like to, when you guys pack stuff, I really, really like to make sure that, uh, oh, what do we have here? Wow. Oh, buddy. This is cool. I like to make sure there's nothing stuck in there. Give it dust boot. There we go. Wow. Buddy. <laughs> Look at this thing. The case is just mint. I just gotta get these uh, these things. Okay, I'm gonna bring you guys in close. Let's let's open this together. You guys know that I like the mucklocks. Mucklocks are where it's at. Okay. Do 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 do. Yeah, I'm gonna put this on the ground. Oh yeah, 
Uh, wow, buddy. Wow. That is... That is a light. Oh yeah, I'm gonna roll around in my yard and uh, and cut trees. I use saws like this quite a bit, friends. I do not climb, but I have a lot of trees on this property, and uh, it's uh, stuff like this. These are very, very handy. Well, let's see what we got going on here. Nicely done. No fuel in it. Let's uh, let's move you guys back here. Still cleaning up under the bench there. We're getting there. Yeah, friends, if you're gonna ship a power saw, make sure you take the gas and oil out. I guess we better put some petroleum in this thing and hear how she yin yins. I'm gonna pause you guys here and uh, I'll grab a little mix oil. He said he thinks it runs, so if it doesn't, we got another project for the saw bench. Give me a second here, guys. Here we go. 45 to 1 Optimal, Opti 2. Right here. You guys ask me all the time. I'll... Here. Friends. Okay. One of these days, when I have one of my saws apart, I'll tell you how many hours are on it, and I'll let you guys judge whether this is good oil or not. Okay. Opti 2. I run this at 45 to 1 or 50 to 1, whatever you want. You can run this at 100 to 1, but I don't. Um, I run this in everything. Dirt bikes, snowmobiles, everything. Um, I run this in my snowmobile. Okay. All vintage saws, old stuff like that, ported saws, Macaulay's, home lights, stills, huskies. I run this in everything at 45 to 1. Okay, why? Because uh, the bottom end is slippery when I take the saw apart and there's not a lot of carbon from that stuff. Oh, yeah, she's got a little fuel tank that just about spilled. Well, let's see if this thing runs. It's got a good sharp chain on it too. Jeff, thank you, buddy. Honestly, this is, uh, you guys take good care. You guys take good care of the Tin Man. Okay, what do we got here? We got high, low, choke, start and stop. Okay, so this is a Power Mac 6. I think Buckin just was rocking one of these in a tree. Um, I'll have to ask him what the deal is. Oh, chain oil is right here. That's cool. I like this. So this has an automatic chain oiler with a manual override. Them boys at McCulloch uh, knew what they were doing. Okay. Getting me down here. Let's see if this thing starts. I am cleaning up under this bench. I'm actually going through uh, my my parts. Okay. Must be a McCulloch. This is a good example. So you get your new power saw. Now, it runs, but it's a little boggy. So what I'm going to do here, okay, I'm going to see where this low jet's at. Who knows where this came from? Okay, so the low jet was at one and a half turns. I'm going to put it at one turn and fire the saw back up. This thing could have been at uh, a different elevation. It could have been running colder weather. It's... Uh, it's 70 degrees in the shop right now. We got a fire roaring, so it could be a little fat. Let's, so, let's try it again.
restart. There you guys go. Jeff, I'm going to use this all the time, buddy. Uh, it's spring. Woo, it's smoky in here. It's spring, and I do a lot of tree pruning in spring and in fall. Um, in spring, as the trees start to bud, uh, the trees grow very rapidly here. We have a shelter belt. Uh, a lot of the trees that are planted in the shelter belt are very rapid growing, and you'll get... I'll go to mow, and one day there's nothing, and the next day there's a branch. I will literally rip around with something like this, okay, on my mower, and we're going to get that mower going soon. Um... I will drive around with something like this on the mower the first couple mows and I will I will just prune just to make it easier on me. Uh, I don't break the trees then, I don't get branches in the face and uh, it, little saws like this are so handy around here. Um, you know, and this thing's pretty light. This is a nice power saw. Jeff Salisbury, thank you buddy. I, I mean that. Um, it, it just, there's no words to, to say um, the help, you know, what you guys do for this channel. There's so many of you out there behind the scenes um, that just, you want to give. And again, guys, I want to give back. And, uh, you know, it, it, it feels good. Good folks helping good folks is what I want this channel to be about. Okay, well, another Mac in the, in the stable. Thank you guys. There are no Macs here. Again, I've, I would never touch a Mac unless you guys made it happen. So, as always, thanks for watching. Take her easy.